Okay, this is the Super Game Boy Advanced. Let's let's take a look. Okay, it's been a few months since I've reviewed the Nintendo Switch Lite, and in that review, I compared the Switch Lite to the Nintendo Switch. Um, in this video, I'm just gonna kind of take a second look at the Nintendo Switch Lite, and I'm gonna try and look at it more as like its own product, and not not compare it so much to the to the Switch. So. Here we go. First of all, you notice they have a new blue color. Uh, they call this blue. In my opinion, it's not blue. It looks purple-ish to me. Like a dark, dark purple, blue-ish. Pur dark purple blue. Anybody that had a Game Boy Advance remembers a similar color on those. Game, like the, the one that was in this form factor, not the SP with the flip screen, but the Game Boy Advance had a similar color to this. So I love this color, it is like a classic, this is like what I picture with Nintendo, I think they had a similar color with the GameCube. This is like a Nintendo color. Again, I wouldn't really call it blue, but it's like this bluish purple that is just signature Nintendo fun. So the first thing with the Switch Lite is it's, it's portability, right? It's a portable gaming system. This is like where the Nintendo DS evolved into, right? We went from the Game Boys to the DS's and now we're in the Switch Lights, I guess. It's kind of big, right? It's not hyper portable if you compare it to something like, this is an iPhone 12, right? It's it's not small enough to really fit in a pocket. In an ideal world, I would love to be able to slip a Game Boy or a, <laughs> a Nintendo Switch into my pocket and bring it with me places. This is just a little big for that. I mean, if you have large pockets or cargo pockets, probably have no problem, but if you look at kind of the target market for something like this, I'm sure a lot of it is younger audiences and uh, those people's pockets aren't gonna be big enough anyway. So, because it's a little more portable, right? It's got a, a smaller display than maybe would be ideal for a lot of console games, yet a lot of the Switch games are like console games. They, they look really good and play really well on a TV. They translate decently to the Switch Lite screen, um, but a lot of that type of gameplay is a little smaller, and because of that, when you're playing, if you are the type of person that kind of, you know, is more into it and they move their controller a little bit when playing, that kind of affects the gameplay. And for me, at least as an adult, uh, I, I struggle to enjoy the gameplay to the same degree as I can um, when I'm allowed to move the controller a little more. So the, the display size and the portability are really fighting each other, right? Like I want a larger display to make the games a little more enjoyable, but the portability aspect of it, I would like it to be smaller. So it's kind of in this strange like meta state. So because I don't really think it's small enough or the display is large enough, maybe that means it's the right size it should be. I mean, it is kind of like a one handed like, hey, here it is, look at this one thing. I don't know. Now, if you have larger hands like me, the controls feel a little cramped. Your hands do get really uncomfortable after a while. Uh, you, you really do need to have like some controller attachments if you're gonna be sitting down and playing this for a longer period of time. Although you don't have to ever, this doesn't have to be like a sit down and play it kind of a device. This can be very transactional in the way that you game with it. You can turn it on and have your game right there ready to go play it for five minutes and then put it to sleep and go on to the next thing. If you're just sitting, waiting for a short period of time. If you're using this as your main gaming device, your hands are probably gonna get kinda sore and you're gonna get weird problems with your fingers and stuff. Hey, if you're enjoying this review or getting something out of it, consider subscribing to the channel. Also being said, because it's portable, you kinda tend to bend your neck down and uh, yeah, it's not great for your neck, you really, after a while, if you're, if, especially if you're older, you start to kind of, ugh. Eventually, you're gonna have some neck and back problems if this is what you're doing all the time. The ability to not switch it to the TV kind of bites, especially if you are gonna sit there and play longer gaming sessions. Now you can lay down, right, and get in your reclined position and be playing like this. That's not bad. I mean, you're getting your arm workout then because your arms are gonna get pretty tired holding it up. Now there are a few things about the Switch Lite that just fell just a little short for me. One, 32 gigabytes of internal storage. Not enough. That's like just a few games, right? The idea is it's portable, right? So I should be able to go somewhere without Wi-Fi and play games, but if I don't have that much storage, I can't. So you automatically need to buy, I bought a 64 gigabyte micro SD card that I put in the bottom. And uh, that's where 
two thirds of my games are stored on. The fact that it doesn't come with more internal storage in 2021 is a bit of a bummer. I get that it's only 199, so that alone makes this a great deal pretty much regardless, but yeah, it's, it's a big hindrance. I prefer internally stored games. I don't wanna be switching game cards out a lot. Also, when you get a new console or something like that, you bought it on the Nintendo store, so you can re-download it to the new one uh, and not worry about like forward compatibility. I think that, to me, that's important. I like that. Now, one thing people have brought up with the Switch Lite is that the, the controls, the buttons, the joysticks wear out after a while, and because they're not Joy-Cons, you can't just buy new controllers to slide off and, and switch on. And that's a fair complaint. These joysticks are kind of cheap, especially if you're comparing them to like any other consoles types of joysticks. You just gotta be a little more gentle on your Switch Lite if you want it to last a really long time. Now another thing people have uh, mentioned or complained about or, or whatever you wanna call it, is that you need to use the uh, Nintendo Switch charger that it comes with to charge it. So even though it's a USB Type-C charger, you gotta use the built-in charger so you have to now take that charger with you on the go. And uh, from my experience, that's total crap. I've used any and every charger with this thing. Ones that are much higher wattage than it, it is uh, you know, the one that comes with it. I haven't seen any serious issues with it. Now maybe my battery life is going down and I'm not really realizing it. Um, my kind of standard procedure with this is to charge it at night, right, and then play it whenever I need to or want to play it during the day. I don't think you gotta use the built-in charge. I think you'll be okay if you don't. But I am fully ready for somebody in the comments to just, you know, drill sergeant me about why I'm wrong on that. But I'm just talking about my experiences. Now, one thing about the Switch Lite that I love, one of my favorite things, is just the design. I Every time I see one of these on the shelf in the store, um, I want it. I want it. Even though I already have one, I want another one. The uh, Something about this just makes me want to go play games portably. It looks friendly. It looks enjoyable. It looks fun. And when I'm holding one in my hand, I, I just I feel welcomed into it. Uh, it's... I know that's a really intangible way to kind of rate the design, um, but I think it is extremely well designed. Uh, the materials that it's made out of are soft. They don't feel like you're getting any hand grease on them. It doesn't feel like you need a case because it's this like durable plastic you can drop and it'll be okay and, and the world's not gonna end. Uh, like I mentioned in the previous one, there's like kind of a cover glass over the actual touch screen that protects it from that. Uh, the buttons are that same matte material. I really, really like the build and design of the Switch Lite. It feels like a robust, nothing's gonna break kind of machine. And I, I really appreciate that. Now, with the exception of the joysticks, I wish there was a way to, to like recede the joysticks into it while you weren't using it. Because when you slide this into a bag or into a large pocket or wherever you do, uh, yeah, it snags on stuff and you're, you're really potentially putting a lot of force on that joystick, popping it up and out, out of there. It's one of those like anxiety things where like before I put this in a bag, I almost feel like I should wrap a t-shirt around it just, just so the joysticks don't snag on anything. If there was a way to kind of like pop them into the controller and lock it, I know that doesn't make any sense, but the joysticks are the only thing that give me pause, that worry me about the Switch Lite in the durability department. Overall though, I do think the Switch Lite is a extremely good value. For $199, you're getting a lot of entertainment, you're getting a lot of versatility, um, and you're getting a device that's gonna be durable, you know, in the hands of a kid or, you know, in the life of an adult. I wouldn't personally buy a Switch Lite to do any kind of gaming portably that you would normally do on a console. And I guess with the exception of Nintendo exclusives, but for example, you can download Rocket League onto the Switch Lite and play it. You can do it, you shouldn't. It's not a good experience. Rocket League on the Switch Lite really sucks. The input lag is awful. The really small controls are just not conducive. It's not a good experience. Also, if you're used to playing Rocket League on like a console, sometimes some of the controls A, B, X, and Y are, are reversed because the Switch's buttons are, are flipped compared to what like an Xbox 
or many other like standard generic gamepad controllers are. And I don't know why, but that can really, you know, jive you up in those games. I mainly would say the Switch Lite does well with Nintendo made games. Zelda, Mario, Smash, Mario Kart, etc. When you go too far outside of the native Nintendo games, you start to really limit the, the usefulness of this. Besides that, that's all I got. Love the new color. And, uh, you know, overall, I think it's a pretty good value for what you're getting. There's not anything competing with it. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I make a tech video about something once a week. If you're returning, thank you as always for coming back. I famously don't have an outro, so I'm just gonna say bye. Bye.